Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to cover a really important topic uh, that I've been asked for, like how to read a GIA certificate. There are so many details in this certificate. So today I'm going to go over what are the most important things that you need to know when you purchase a diamond solitaire. A grading report from GIA represents an unbiased examination of a gem. So when looking at a GIA diamond certificate, the first thing you need to know is whether the diamond is natural or lab made. GIA mentions it here if it's a natural diamond or a lab grown. For a natural diamond, it says GIA natural diamond dossier here on the top. And for the lab made diamond, it says GIA lab grown diamond report. Each and every diamond has a unique report number that you can use to look up your report. Also, if you can scan your barcode here, it will take you to the e-report. This is only available for natural diamonds and non-treated diamonds. The most common four C's can be found here. The carrot, color, clarity and the cut. You can use this chart on this side to check and understand these numbers. We always look out for an excellent cut. It's the overall symmetry and the cut of the diamonds that matters the most. Apart from the four C's, it's very important to check the fluorescence on, the, on a diamond. Fluorescence is basically how the diamond reacts to the ultraviolet light. Also, this is very important for you to know that most GIA diamonds are inscribed. That means there is a in special inscription number inscribed. That means the number is itched on the diamond that can be found on a certificate as well. So to ensure the authenticity of the certificate that you have, uh, there are some security features on this side of, of the certificate. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, do let me know in your comments below if you have any questions that I can answer for you. Until next time, bye. The ultraviolet right, light. Fluorescence is based certificate.